see truth and justice, believers in peace, freedom, and the American way. Tom Hartman here with you. It's Monday. Uh, let's start out the uh, week with Congressman Ro Khanna taking your calls for the hour. There's so much going on. I'm sure that, uh, that uh, Congressman Khanna has a lot on his mind. I do on mine. And if you'd like to uh, present him with your questions about what's going on, our telephone number 202-808-9925. Uh, Congressman Connor represents the 17th District of California. He is the, uh, he is the, uh, I believe you're the, uh, what's, what's your title with the uh, Congressional Progressive Caucus? It's Vice Chair? Uh, Vice Chair. Vice Chair. Vice Chair. Thank Chair. you very much. Uh, the Vice Chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. And uh, you can tweet him at Rep. Ro, R O Khanna, K H A N N A, and his website, Khanna.house.gov. Congressman, welcome back. Thanks for having me. So, uh, boy, there's a lot going on. I understand, uh, A, you've got a jobs bill for all coming up in Congress. B, the Medicare for All caucus. This, this is a big deal. I, I, I'm seeing uh, stuff that indicates that the number one issue across America, regardless of party, is uh, health care and, and concerns about the expense of health care. And uh, that's a big deal. And I'm curious your thoughts on the president's tweets this morning. Absolutely. Well, Look, uh, on the Medicare for All, uh, this is the most uh, momentum we've had in Congress uh, on this issue uh, for uh, ever, really. We've had 70 members nearly sign up for Medicare for All. Uh, and the idea is that uh, uh, this is, a, as you know, pro-jobs, and uh, it's going to save costs. I mean, one of the things that infuriates me, I was doing a interview on, on Fox News this weekend, and they said, well, do you realize Medicare for All is going to cost $32 trillion? And I said, well, that number doesn't mean anything unless you compare it to our current system, which costs $49 trillion. So actually you would save $17 trillion, which makes sense, because you would get rid of the private insurance uh, costs. You, you would get rid of uh, the costs that pharmaceuticals are charging. You would get rid of the hospital fees. Uh, and, of course, this is uh, everyone in the caucus believes you should have health care from the day you're born. You shouldn't have it contingent of filling out forms or fighting with a, uh, a bureaucrat. So I am very optimistic. Uh, Pramila and uh, Mark Pocan have done a terrific job starting the caucus. We had a great uh, press conference with a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, and I really am hoping that this eventually becomes part of the standard Democratic platform, not just the uh, progressive platform. Cool. And uh, your, inter your Jobs for All bill, tell me about that. Jobs for All is a, a, a very simple uh, point, uh, which is that uh, we need to help people in places of large unemployment uh, get a job. Uh, this calls for a subsidy of a person's wage, uh, as well as a subsidy for them to get uh, a credential. Uh, you have a program like this in Germany. Uh, basically, the government helps pay the wage for an individual to get a job um, as a teacher in the government uh, for a small business, uh, and it gets them uh, an opportunity to, to work with a good wage. One of the things that when you talk about the 3.8 percent unemployment rate or the stock market growth uh, that just gets lost in the discussion is most people have not had uh, uh, in wages, and their costs are going up. And people don't have uh, good jobs. And this program uh, makes sure that uh, people will have the opportunity for a good job. Uh, and it also is something that uh, will make sure we deal with the geographic uh, inequality and geographic divide. There are certain places that still have 8, 9, 10 percent uh, unemployment. Great. And finally, uh, just uh, and then we'll pick up your calls uh, or calls for you if that's all right with you. Is uh, I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on on uh, Donald Trump's tweets this morning in all caps threatening the right. the, the president of uh, Iran. It seems like I mean Rouhani is the reformer, uh, and it seems like by by going all hard right on him, he's uh, what Trump is doing is emboldening, on the one hand, the the, the hard right forces in Iran, which is not broadly a good thing for us and and also the diminishing the power of the moderates who are who are trying to bring Iran into the 21st century well putting aside the, the juvenile nature and the dangerous of uh, threatening war on Twitter with was said that this administration is uh, marching us towards confrontation with Iran and I've been more concerned about uh, getting into a war uh, with Iran than even the situation in North Korea. I mean, they, 
uh, came in. They undermined uh, the Iran deal. Uh, they have strengthened an alliance with Saudi Arabia. Uh, they have uh, admitted that they are sending troops into or sending a part of the uh, troops' mission even in Syria. The special operation forces are to contain uh, Iran. Tillerson had said that. Uh, so you have Pompeo and uh, Bolton, and in Bolton's case, someone who's been itching for uh, a confrontation with Iran uh, for the past 20 years, uh, and they're they're setting this up uh, to uh, draw us into another war, which is why I have said, and Barbara Lee and others, that the Democrats right now uh, need to be very, very clear that we need to be unified, and every Democrat should be uh, absolutely clear that we will not support uh, any invasion or hostilities or strike uh, into Iran so that we're not divided the way the Democratic Party was divided when they rushed us into war uh, in Iraq. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's pick up some phone calls here. David in Columbus, Ohio. David, uh, thanks, your, uh, thanks for listening. You're on the air with Congressman Ro Khanna. Hi, Congressman. Um, since California leads the nation, I think uh, either single-payer health care or um, free college education would be a good demonstration project for California. And I, that was going to happen, but then it, it got sidetracked somehow. Can you explain what happened? Well, I, I agree with you that it would be uh, a, a good program nationally, and certainly in California. Pat Brown, the, our, our governor, uh, built the state uh, based on a funding of – uh, the UC, University of California system, and uh, the California state system uh, to provide uh, affordable education. And now uh, that's no longer the case. I mean, the UCs cost uh, 20000 30000 a year, and the, even California state universities cost about uh, $10,000 a year. Uh, the funding is the issue in California. Uh, we right now are unfortunately there's an initiative to repeal the gas tax, uh, which would deprive the state I uh, oppose that, but it's uh, uh, an issue that uh, would starve uh, us from revenue. Uh, people have been unwilling to raise uh, the taxes on, on uh, the top earners, and they've been unwilling to revise Prop 13 that restricts uh, any taxation on uh, property, including commercial property, uh, that we would need for uh, as a source of revenue to do things like uh, free public college. So. Uh, it's an issue of values in California legis the California legislature being willing to raise the revenue. Yeah. Congressman, just FYI, uh, I'm guessing you're talking to us on a cell phone because every other sentence or so we miss two or three words. They're dropping out. I don't know I'm if sure there's... I'm on a landline. Uh, oh, you are? Let me... Yeah, I am. But huh. uh, let me move to a different, uh, different room. Maybe it's a VoIP landline or something like that. I, whatever it is. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a heads up. If, well, if I you appreciate can, that. Hopefully... If you can... Improve yeah. the signal. Okay, Mark in Albany, New York. Uh, Let's on Sirius XM. You're on the air with Ro uh, Congressman Ro Khanna. Congressman Ro Khanna and Tom, how are you this morning? My, my question is very simple. Um, a lot of the smoke screen about what, um, uh, what the president is doing uh, takes away from other issues, too, that the, the Republicans are trying to do. I, I just heard a recent report that's going to try to do some more uh, gutting of Medicare and Medicaid. Have you heard anything about, uh, you know, plans by the Republican right to uh, really go after uh, Medicare and Medicaid before uh, this next election? I don't think they're – I do know they want to go after Medicare and Medicaid. I don't think they're going to do it before the election. What I do think they're going to do uh, is further tax cuts. I think in the fall they're going to uh, try to make this uh, awful tax package they passed uh, permanent. Uh, and they're talking about a, a further reduction uh, in the capital gains uh, tax rate. Uh, and we're, you know, we have to be prepared to, 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 to fight them uh, on that uh, issue. What they're, you know, they accuse us all, always of wealth redistribution, uh, but what their tax plan is doing is taking money from hardworking individuals and really redistributing it by. Uh, having hedge fund owners and private equity owners uh, pay a reduced tax rate by reducing uh, capital gains further and uh, not charging ordinary income. So uh, that's really been their agenda. Yeah, and it's remarkable. Congressman Ro Khanna taking your calls for the hour, 202-808-9925. We'll be back with more of your calls for Congressman Khanna right after this.